back to the channel everybody I'm Andre and we got a nice little fire going doesn't mean we're making beef jerky today we are making pemmican most of you probably don't know what it is but it's like one of the ultimate survival foods and uh, let's get inside and show you how to do it okay we're gonna dive right in this is a piece of eye of the round I was making beef jerky so I saved some you could use bison, you could use uh, deer, beef, something nutrient dense, nice hearty meat. We're gonna cut it up. It doesn't matter how I cut up and you'll see why after. We just wanna cut it in fairly even thickness pieces so that it will all dry out. I have about a kilo and a half of meat here. Uh, this will actually get us quite a bit, but if I was making a bigger batch, I would obviously make more. Got this all cut. What we're gonna do, now at this point, if you don't have a smoker, you can get your dehydrator out, layer it up, put it in there, like 125, 130, and just let it go. And I will show you at the point where you need to get it. You need to get this like bone dry because pemmican, that's the beauty of it. It, it's, it really doesn't have a shelf life because there's like almost zero water in it. And water is an enemy for food because it actually is, it gives bacteria the, the area to grow. But if you take all that water out, no bacteria, and your food becomes shelf stable. And that's what, I don't know exactly who created pemmican or who started it, but it's one of those things where you can survive off of it and take it with you hunting, camping, fishing, anybody that does outdoor activities should bring it with you because if you're ever stuck and this is all you had to eat, you can survive off of it. Right now we're gonna go throw this in the smoker and uh, put some flavor to it. We're just gonna lay this out like we normally do. Have it not touching. We want airflow around every single piece. Just like that, we're not adding any salt, any pepper, anything like that. Anything we're gonna add, we're gonna add later. Right now, it's just about adding some flavor and getting this stuff bone dry. Here we go. We're gonna just leave it up top here because I am running beef jerky too because it's the same temperature. So it's in there and uh, see you in four hours. Phase one is done. They've got enough smoke on them. Now if you see, I'm just gonna pick one. Come on, focus. There's still quite a bit of moisture in that. So what we're gonna do now is load up the uh, dehydr dehydrator trays and get this going because these things have to be with like no moisture in it. I'll show you when, once we get there. Because you have to remember you want this as a survival food, you want it to be able to take backpacking, camping, whatever, without refrigeration and not go bad on you. Anyways, we're gonna get this on. Put this on. Yeah, of course the extension cord's not long enough. And I'm going to set this to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and time I'm just going to set it to 10 hours uh, I'm going to keep checking it every so often but it will probably need to go all night to get it to where I need it to go nobody said this is a fast project but you're going to be very happy with the results hit start 
And away we go. This is just gonna go. And uh, when it's at the point where I need it to be, we'll be back. Welcome back everybody. It is the next day. I had to leave this stuff in the dehydrator overnight to get it where I want. And I will show you what I'm talking about. So now this, kind of ugly looking, but hopefully this focuses. If you see now, this just crumbles. It's, there's virtually like no water in this stuff now. This is what I want. This is exactly how I want it. And, uh, but we're not gonna leave it like this. We are gonna get the trusty old food processor out because we wanna make this stuff kind of like into a powder. So what we're gonna do is just break not too much up because this thing can't handle too much. And I've also reheated the tallow. I just heated it because you don't want any water in there. I let it bubble off. And right now, virtually that tallow is water free as well, which is, excuse me, perfect. So I'm gonna have to do this in batches, but I'm gonna just show you guys how I want it. Dump it in here. So now, I'm gonna just show you here. This is like powder. That's exactly how I want it. I'm gonna do the rest, get it in here, and then we're gonna combine it and actually make the pemmican. Now, I do recommend adding some salt because uh, salt is very necessary too. This is to taste. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit now and I will add more after we add the tallow. I'm gonna say there's no real recipe for this. I'm gonna show you the consistency that we want once we have the tallow and all this combined. Be careful the tallow is still hot at this point. And add some first. Nope, definitely not enough, but. You don't wanna add it all at once. You wanna see how much the meat actually absorbs. See that? And one way to tell, squeeze it kind of forms a ball. That's kind of what we want. I'm happy with that. And what we're going to do, we're going to pour some into a dish. And just flatten it out. See the amount I have in here, it's roughly about an inch thick. So we're just spreading this out. But what I want to do before I Okay, that's enough salt. I'm just pressing it down to make it even. I'm going to show you here. This is what it looks like but we're gonna put it back in the fridge really quick, let it set up, and then I'm gonna show you the finished product. So I just wanted to mention one more thing. I've got all this tallow left over. The nice thing about tallow is that I can pour that back into the mason jar I had it in, let it cool down, put it back in the fridge, and it's good to reuse. So if you make too much or heat too much up, that's fine. Let it cool down and just put it back in the fridge. Okay, there we go. It's all nice and set up. I'm actually gonna take it out. Look at that. I am wearing gloves because the tallow will get your hands all greasy. So what I'm gonna do is 
cut this into little squares. So, you know what? Just do this. So now, these are probably about the size of squares that you want to break them into because these are so calorie dense pieces of food because it's just three ingredients. You've got your tallow, you've got your beef, and you've got your salt. That's it. Now, lots of different people will add seeds and nuts if you really want to. You can add dehydrated fruits and berries if you really want. I prefer to keep it simple because this will keep you alive in a survival situation. And uh, enough talking. That's good. It's amazing just what these two or three ingredients are. I prefer smoking the meat first because it adds that extra layer of flavor. Now, if you don't have a smoker and just dehydrate it, that's fine. But I like flavor if you watched any of my videos. I love spice and, but I kept spice it out of here on purpose because spices can go rancid. Anything ground. Um, because this right now really has no shelf life, which is awesome. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just cut it into squares leave it in the fridge overnight, and then I'm gonna vacuum pack each individual square, throw them in the freezer, and that they can last there indefinitely, basically. And if I need them, I can just take, take a few with me, and I'm good to go. It's funny because I was just up north for a couple days uh, a little while ago, and I, I had some made already and I brought some with me you know because you never know you're going up north and my time got away with on me because I was driving on some back roads and when I got back to the town it's a very small town everything was closed so it's like you know what I ate two squares that was my dinner had some water and I was totally fine wasn't hungry and here I am it's awesome. So go and make some pemmican, throw it in the freezer. Well, everybody, I hope you learned something with this. Go and make some pemmican. It's very easy to do yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and happy eating.